say when uh, too much is too much as far as like, cause I'll rescue all the dogs, you know, like <laughs> yeah, I would have yeah. 30 dogs at our house, but I don't know that our half acre, you know, and three stalls in our kennel could yeah. handle 30 dogs, you know? <laughs> right, so, right. so she gets to kind of like say, Hey, tra-, and she's my checks and balances mm-hmm. in that should be like, Hey, you're overstressing yourself because there might, I, I mean, I'm going to just straight up admit there's, there's a lot of survivor's guilt in my, mm. in my, my personal mm. self, you know? And yeah, so, sure. so my survivor's guilt transfers into rescuing another, another dog. Yeah. And so, yeah. um, and I, and I thank God I have her to do that because without her, I would overburden myself yep. and this would not be something that I'd enjoy, yeah. you know, like at, at that point it would become so burdensome that I would just be pulling my hair out, you know, and I would become a, you know, it, it I would, I would not do as good a job as I can, mm-hmm. as I possibly yeah, could. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we want to ask you, like we asked this question to all our um, guests, but who do you look f- to f- to get inspired is it your dogs or is it um your teammates or who do you look to to get that inspiration uh i mean there's a there's kind of a couple people um my older brother joe uh is one of my biggest inspirations um he's uh you know he's a chinese doctor he's a he's a police officer he's a SWAT cop you know um and he's just this super well-educated, well-rounded person that I'm always yeah. like, mm-hmm. you know, I'm looking to him for inspiration. That's um, I, and I almost could say the same for me to him because he just, you know, he loves my, he loves what I did in my career and he supports me 100% in that. Um, you know, uh, there's a couple people that have inspired me amongst my career, you know, like, um, that were like either, uh, dog handlers when I was trying to learn to become a dog handler, um, that, were just instrumental in me being able to do this successfully. And, uh, and I'll never, mm-hmm. never be able to say thank you enough to those guys. Uh, his name, one of them's name's Rick Hogg. Um, mm-hmm. he has a, he has his dog, his retired dog and his dog's going through cancer right now. So if you guys mm-hmm. could throw him some love, you know, yeah, um, yeah, sure. um, that, that would be awesome. Um, but yeah, uh, there's, you know, a few people, um, I'm a huge his- history buff and, and, uh, I, I mean, john f kennedy for it sounds stupid but i just really appreciate what the guy did for yeah, our sure. country you know yeah, and, he, so, yeah. and and because he uh he he made it possible for me to be a green beret you know and so mm-hmm. i i love to read about jfk i love to uh be inspired by what he what he was able to accomplish um and you know that's about it yeah that's yeah. That's awesome. That's some good, solid people. So, how can people uh, get inspiration from you? Where can they follow you? What are your your Instagram handle and all that? Yeah, kind of yeah. Stuff? Um, so everything is pretty much Second Chance Canine. So at Second Chance Canine okay. is all our. Okay. Um, I do have uh, a, a young intern who, who helps us out. I run the Instagram page, mm-hmm. but uh, she runs pretty much everything else. Uh, I mean, we have TikTok, we have all that stuff. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> but it's all just Second Chance Canine. Um, if you'd like to, which would really, really help us out because we're trying to grow it, our YouTube page uh, would be awesome because I do it, yeah. like, yeah, I do um, little informative stuff uh, on there. I talk about kennels. I talk about dog foods. I talk about, mm-hmm. you know, just all the things that um, that you might have questions on uh, as far as like being a dog, ha- being like owning one of these high drive dogs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I, we also have, I could have used and, that like, um, eight years ago when I first got <laughs> Hank. Yeah. So, right. Yeah. 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 Sure. And, I, and that's what I, and that's my goal. Um, you know, Jason Knight is big, big, in, uh, um, his, he makes knives. Uh, he's been a big influence in my life. Um, he, uh, he and I work together a lot on stuff and, and he is an amazing guy. So, um, I love to do inspirational stuff with him. Um, so please follow him as well because he's a rad dude and, awesome. and, uh, he's super creative. Um, but yeah, um, Patreon is another one that we have and Patreon, like, um, you can join our Patreon for as little as a coffee, you know? And, and yeah. so we, we release a lot of cool stuff early on Patreon. Um, we, we give you access to like clothing and hats mm-hmm. and t-shirt stuff first. We do, uh, a lot of dog training tips on Patreon. Yeah, um, cool. and it's just second chance canine on Patreon. I've been looking um, into starting a Patreon for my podcast and, and 
I'm just trying to get it all set up. So that's I I love I love Patreon. Yeah. Um, Patreon out of all of the platforms is my favorite platform to uh, converse with people okay. because Patreon okay. has like this ability for me to talk to you on a personal yeah. level. Whereas Instagram is kind of, I get flooded on Instagram by uh, mm-hmm. messages yeah. and, you know, right. just different. Right. So Patreon is this one-on-one or a group, you know I mean? You can kind of decide. And I, and I love to give, I love, well, people hit me up all the time for dog tips and I love to push it to Patreon because if you're having that dog issue, then somebody else is having that oh, dog yeah, issue right. as well, you know? And so, so if I can hit one platform and push so much information out to the masses and that that's big for me. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's awesome. I love the fact that with Patreon that you're giving to us, but I can give back to you as well. Yeah. It's not, you know, please, by all means, go to the website and donate if you'd like to. Yeah. But at the same time, I love Patreon because I can be like, dude, you know, let me give back to you. I love to interact with the people there. I love to tell stories about my dog there. That makes you know, me stuff. excited to get my Patreon mm-hmm. started. Yeah, yeah, dude, I highly recommend it. Yeah. I highly recommend it. Okay. Um, yeah, that's awesome, dude. You've, you've inspired me today. Oh, yeah. I know I didn't say oh, much man. this this episode, but like I'm just listening in, man, and it's it's great. I, yeah. You've inspired I, I, me. I, Your service is amazing. I I love people that are full of service, you know, good heart. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm not a religious guy, but I'm definitely like I believe in service to our mm-hmm. to our to our brothers and sisters. You know For what sure. I mean? Like I I believe in in giving back, and and if you're you know because if you're hurting, and and I feel like it like if you're hurting and you go do something nice, mm-hmm. it 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 can help heal you. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. Okay, well we invite everybody to like this, share it, um, subscribe, subscribe, spread this word around. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's been a good one. Okay, I lo- I love it, man. I can't wait to like share this with my patrons and my followers yeah. as well. Yeah, for sure, for sure. That that'll really help both of us out. So yeah, yeah. no, I'm I'm in, dude. Just let me know what you guys need. Okay, okay, okay. Awesome. Um, take it easy. Yep, we'll see you. Hey, thanks, guys. Let me know if you ever need anything. Uh, reach out anytime. Uh, I, I would love to help out.